for two years an all-out war in Ukraine. This week, the U.S. approved the sale of $138 million of upgraded equipment for Ukraine's Hawk air defense systems that counter Russian missile strikes. In his State of the Union last month, President Biden said Ukraine needs U.S. support to stand up to Russia's invasion. If anybody in this room thinks Putin will stop at Ukraine, I assure you he will not. Ukraine can stop Putin if we stand with Ukraine and provide the weapons that needs to defend itself. Since the invasion began, the Biden administration has imposed sanctions on Russian individuals and entities and sent $75 billion in assistance to Ukraine. As the son of a Ukrainian immigrant, Stephen Cassells says he will vote for Biden. Watching the war there and watching Putin and watching the people that, for me, unfortunately, uh, President Trump has aligned himself with, at least emotionally, is very scary. It's an honor to be with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. During his presidency, Donald Trump maintained a close relationship with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Five years later, he called him a genius for invading Ukraine. The Washington Post reports that Trump has said he would end the war by pressuring Ukraine to cede land to Russia. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky calls that a primitive idea. At a recent rally, Trump recalled a conversation he had with a country leader, delinquent on NATO payments for Ukraine. Well, sir, uh, if we don't pay and we're attacked by Russia, will you protect us? I said, no, I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. You got to pay. Biden and Trump differ greatly over how to end the war in Ukraine. President Trump has made a promise to the American people, and they can trust that he will deliver on it to end the war in Ukraine, to negotiate a peace deal with both sides. And that's why Isaac Gere of New Hampshire will vote for Trump. It's really important to me that we stay out of any foreign wars and um, keep our military spending down. Meanwhile, a bill to send $60 billion in military aid to Ukraine has stalled in the U.S. House of Representatives. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News.